Hello and welcome to this week's Trading the Trend. Two weeks ago we went short WTI um, on this daily chart as you can see here at $78.35 and since then the price of oil has indeed fallen but then it started to uh, rise again last week. But what we can now do is move our stop loss which was placed above this key resistance area above the uh, December high at $83.30. We can now move that down to the last reactive high here at $80.76 and keep our position in place and still expect these downside targets here between $72.64 and $70.25 to be hit in the days and weeks ahead. Last week we went short um, the Nasdaq 100 on this daily financial bet and did so because we now believe that the long-term downtrend has resumed as you can see, we still have lower highs and lower ho lows on that chart. And that the short-term recovery at the beginning of this year has now ended because we formed this top formation here. So we went short around current levels approximately with a stop loss uh, at 12,897, just above the February high. And this is still in place and I would leave that stop up there for the time being. And we still expect much further downside to be seen and to take us back down towards the 10,800 area on the Nasdaq 100 in the weeks ahead. Today's trading, the trend is to go long uh, dollar yen. And uh, this is because we expect to have formed a bottoming formation here on this daily financial bet and uh, expect to see further upside with regards to the US dollar and therefore dollar yen to continue to rise in the days and weeks ahead. So you could go long now, for example, here on this minor retracement we're seeing at the moment at 135.50, but with a stop loss quite far away uh, to give us some room uh, below the last big reaction low here on the 10th of February at 129.80 and an upside target, which therefore has to be quite far away around the 144.90 zone. So today's trading the trend is to go long dollar yen at 135.50 with a stop loss at 129.80 and an upside target of 144.90.